What's going on, America? Kevin from Kevin's Corner, where I try to make sense out of nonsense. And hey, y'all, I got my first directing gig. So wait, so wait, so wait, so wait, so wait. Did y'all hear that? This video is brought to you by Extreme Tees. Click on the link below. Make sure you put Kevin in the promo code and you'll get a 20% discount. That's right, man. I've been hired by the Democrats to direct a short film. You know, it's, it's a drama, um, you know, but, uh, you know, it's my first gig, so I'm going to give it a shot. I got some amateur actors working with me. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it's pretty much these, these four uh, guys who are pretending to be police officers. And I guess the whole scenario is they're coming to testify or something. I was reading the script. It didn't really make a lot of sense, but... I'm gonna try to make it do what I do. So let me see if I can get them coached up and then, you know, maybe we can take a couple run throughs and um, I'll give them some feedback, but I'm just happy. I'm just happy to be working, have my first acting gig and directing gig, brother. Um, so here we go. So I know. Action. Because of the, all the chemical that I, my uniform had it on. Sorry. And cut. So, you know, they wanted to go with a real diverse group of guys. You know, you just can't have regular, you know, white guys. So we, we went with a Latino dude. I don't I don't really know his first name or anything. So I'm just going to call him Rodriguez for now. But um, Rodriguez, I'm going to need you to go ahead and sell it a little bit better. Because see, what we're going for is a lot of emotion. See, because the, the viewer has to believe that you're really sad and broken up and, and you're crying. So let's go ahead and take a run through. Running. Action and cut i don't know about that i don't know if i could work with rodriguez I, I, what was that what you were not selling it man do you see oh, i cannot work in these conditions i'm a professional and that man was up there talking about something i was <laughs> you're not selling it rodriguez you're not selling it but you know what work on it let's move on to the next Running. i was carried Action. back inside what happened afterwards is much less famous. and cut now look peter you're the only white guy in the in the whole dang on script and here you are up there whining and boohooing it doesn't you know what as a white guy even though they're using you you still gotta you know play into the narrative of your white privilege and because you're white you shouldn't be crying like that on the on the stand you should be enjoying your white privilege but you, you're going too hard and it's not coming across believable plus you know, as I read the script, you were out way before this, like on a full blown campaign, trying to get all of these different rewards for the police officers and, and, and you're selling it to her. You're going too hard in on your character and, and it's showing that you have a motive. You know, I, I think as the audience, they'll be able to pick up on the fact that you're there to push a narrative, not necessarily to report the facts. So I'm going to let you sit on ice for a second. Let's move on to the the black guy okay because you know he's black and therefore you know whatever he says happened to him we we gotta run with that. so let's see what you got buddy one Action. of the invaders approached me like he was going to try to get past me and head down the stairs i was stunned by what i saw and cut okay now i'm getting concerned about who wrote the script i mean so you cannot have all three of these big men up here boohooing like they ain't cops like they didn't go through some type of sensitivity training or something and know how to conduct themselves during an interview i mean come on now they're not that hurt these are grown men these are trained professionals i would assume as police officers that they would have been exposed to a lot more stuff than what they experienced on that day if that's the worst that these people experience as police officers then they don't need to be police officers i mean all i saw as I watched the, you know, outside footage that I ain't have nothing to do with, you know, I mean, I'm just responsible for directing, you know, the, the testimony scene. But uh, according to that footage that I saw, it didn't warrant the crocodile tears from a man who looks like he's big for nothing. Here you are looking like the dude from the Green Mile out there like, uh, I'm going to go down to Florida, going to purchase a circus mouse, boss. I'm scared of the dog. You can't be Green Mile, big for nothing, boo hooing on the stand. You guys are selling it too hard. Who wrote the script? I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can continue because see, we cannot have all of these dudes breaking down. <sighs> Take five. 
Smoke if you got them. Let's see what the next guy has. Protesters began their transition from peaceful assembly into terrorism. Another woman who was part of the mob of terrorists laying siege to the capital of the United States, as we came close to the terrorists, our line was divided and we came under attack. Terrorists were breaking apart the metal fencing and bike racks into individual pieces. Terrorists were scaling the scaffolding on both our and sides. And cut. Was yeah, I got a problem with the terrorism line. Um, I think right now what we're doing is we're giving away the plot. We're giving away the whole theme. I mean, heck, you, you got up there and you mentioned terrorism about 17 times, which is the same thing that the Democrats have been mentioning like 17,000 times. So then it makes it looks like you're kind of working for the Democrats. It doesn't look natural. So can we erase the word terrorism? No. So y'all want to keep that in, huh? I mean, you, you want my best work. You want me to produce a good film, but you're not giving me much to work with. Nobody's going to believe this guy right here as a cop got the nerve without a trial, without any of that stuff to just get in there and just start throwing out the word terrorism all over the place. Heck, I mean, you know, they didn't even call Al Qaeda and, 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 and they ain't going, you know, uh, ISIS terrorists, but you're calling American citizens terrorists. I think you're overselling it. Whoever wrote this script is overselling it. Only a dumb audience would believe that this is a real movie. It's not making me buy into the characters, but they're paying good. So let me go ahead and see if I can muscle my way through this mess. Clear the terrorists Action. perceive themselves to be Christians. I saw the Christian flag directly to my front. Another read, Jesus is my savior. Trump is my president. Another, Jesus is king. And now, who put the Christian line in? I, I, I just don't get this. So if I'm if I'm hearing, if I'm hearing, if I'm reading the script correctly, you're trying to get me to believe that every single one of these people were terrorists. I mean, I thought terrorists have to be trained or, you know, they have to have some end goal. When is the last movie about terrorists that you saw bust into some joint and just meander about for a little bit, walk around, take a couple selfies with some people. This script is not very believable. And now based on that earlier shooting and that footage that you guys shot, um, I'm watching that. And in those scenes, it's not really screaming out to me, you know, terrorism. It's kind of screaming out to me a bunch of knuckleheads that kind of got drug in to, you know, some something stupid. And, um, yeah, and, and somebody has just tried to over-dramatize what they saw um, to make it appear to be terrorism, I guess. You know, I mean, maybe y'all were you know, a little tight on props because I didn't see any guns. I didn't see any bombs. Um, and they didn't even come close to accomplishing their acts of terrorism. So I'm kind of, you know, struck with a little disbelief because the script you know, as I'm reading, I'm seeing that this guy on the stand is supposed to be saying they're terrorists. But uh, when I see the video footage, it's not lining up. And I got a good feeling that people watching this movie is going to think it's low budget and going to get up and want to leave. But, you know, I don't want to turn down my first directing gig. So dang it. All right, let's go. Morning. What's next? What's the next scene? I told them to just leave the Capitol. And in response, they yelled, no, man, this is our house. President Trump invited us here. We're here to stop the steal. Joe Biden is not the president. Nobody voted for Joe Biden. I'm a law enforcement officer, and I do my best to keep politics and out of my cut. job. Yeah, I'm not liking that line. I try to keep politics out, but uh, I voted for it. It seemed like a lot of dialogue considering these were terrorists. Um, I don't think you would have enough time to, you know, of course, have that type of dialogue while they were conducting their terroristic acts. The last terrorist scene I've seen in a movie, there was no dialogue like that. There was no break in the action. There was no, let me stop and tell you my diabolical scheme and let you regurgitate and respond and all of that stuff. Right. Now, but in this circumstance, action. I responded, well, I voted for Joe Biden. Is my vote not count? Am I nobody? And cut. So we're back to the dude from the Green Mile. Um, and he, he's bringing up stuff that we've been hearing constantly out of the Democrats and the liberal media. Um, and it's kind of sounding like they might have told you what to, what to say. Can you come up with maybe some better lyrics or some better lines or something? Because it sounds like you're just walking right out there reading what somebody else wrote for you. 
especially uh, when I turn on the news and I see them all talking about stop the steal, talking about you know, not my president. Um, and to be honest, it kind of sounds like, you know, the Democrats and, and how Antifa and Black Lives Matter rolled for the last four or five years. Um, so it kind of comes across as projection and not believable. Um, that, you know, was the writer Nancy Pelosi or maybe Adam Schiff or somebody like that? Because uh, you're not selling it. You know, those people as writers were failures. And I look at some of their past work and I realize they were horrible writers and their acting wasn't believable. So I'm hoping they're not attached to this film. So we're going to have to work on the whole line of, you know, uh, they came in and they said, you know, it's not my country. I mean, not my president and all that stuff. And and maybe maybe if you had some body cam on, but I heard that for some reason in the script, yours wasn't working or none of these three or four guys showed any of their, their body cam. So, um, yeah. And, and it just seems unbelievable that you brought together four big crybabies. Um, and, and they all seem to be saying things that cops would not say if they were, you know, just getting up there and regurgitating the facts. You know, because you, you look at all the cops that were attacked over the last four years. They didn't get up there and, and, and put on a show and boo-hoo and cry like these four big for nothing actors. We're going to have to swap them out. We need some more believable actors, but dang it, I don't know if I could prostitute myself, even for this type of money that the Democrats are paying me, but let's give it one more shot. Who's the next actor up? Uh, oh, crap. So wait, y'all are actually using Democrats in this script? Like real Dem no actors? These are real Democrats? I don't know. I don't know about this. Let's see what we can work with. Officer, now when you um, think about that and, and share with us the vivid memory of, of the cruelty and the violence of the assault that day, um, and then you hear uh, former President Trump say, quote, it was a loving crowd. There was a lot of love in the crowd. How does that make you feel? It's upsetting. It's a pathetic excuse for his behavior, for something that he himself helped to create. This monstrosity. I'm still recovering from those hugs and kisses. And that day. Cut. Okay, who wrote these lines from this man? You're talking about he's still recovering from those hugs and kisses. He can barely even speak. He's up for talking about the, you know, uh, the kisses, and he's getting too metaphoric. It doesn't sound like something an uh, actual police officer would write and get on stand and testify. And frankly, as I read the script, if all four of these actors are real police officers, they should be embarrassed to go back into the force. Because I know uh, in a locker room full of, you know, real cops with real testosterone, um, they should be getting clowned. Yeah, they should be walking in and everybody should be like, dude, I saw you on TV crime. What was that about? So um, I'm, I might have to walk away from this, this production right about now. But uh, let's go ahead and let me read the last couple lines and, and see how it all turns out. Maybe I could... Action. Make something out of nothing. If that was hugs and kisses, then we should all go to his house and do the same thing to him. And cut. If that was hugs and kisses, we should go to his house and lay some hugs and kisses on him. What was that? What was that? You're trying to sound like Tony Montana and you're doing a poor job. <sighs> yeah, this isn't going to work out. And um, the dialogue, the, the lines, the script, it's just this is just too far bitch everybody's overselling it it sounds melodramatic it's not realistic real cops don't conduct themselves like that i mean it sounds like democrats just pure democrats this don't even sound like a script it sounds like real life something that they would do in real Ready? life i feel like i went to hell and back to protect them and the people in this room but too many are now telling me that hell doesn't exist or that hell actually wasn't that bad. The indifference shown to my colleagues is disgraceful. And cut. Lighten up, Francis. <laughs> and then the last scene that shows uh, Officer Fanon, the one that's been on tour, I'm, I'm not liking his character, but uh, the fact that this man gets mad and starts banging on stuff, that's not realistic. That makes me even more concerned. Um, not believable. I don't see cops in real life acting like this. I'm gonna have to walk Body. away from the script. You know, you talk about the impact of that day. But you guys won. You guys held. You know, democracies are not defined 
by our bad days. We're defined by how we come back from bad days, how we take accountability for it. We deem elections illegitimate merely because they didn't go our way rather than trying to do better the next time. God help us. And if we're so driven by bigotry and hate that we attack our fellow citizens as traitors, if they're born in another country or they don't look like us, God help us. And cut. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. After seeing Adam Schiff's performance and after seeing uh, that other Rhino's performance, I can't work in these conditions, I'm sorry. Um, you know, I've seen a lot of people prostitute themselves and sell out for the Democrat party. And I, I, I'm sure they pay very, very well, according to Don Lamone and all of those people that uh, work for the fake news, but I can't do it. Um, my pride won't let that happen. So I'm gonna have to pass on this and I might leak it to the press that uh, bottom line, this script sucks and it's very obvious. I mean, it sucks. The acting, all of that sucks. And if anybody watched this and believed that it's real, then you just got sucked into it. So yeah, that's it, man. Now you've seen it. Um, I don't know where they got these actors from, but uh, yeah, I can't work in these conditions. So if anybody wants me, I'll be in my trailer. Okay, God bless you. God bless America. Take care. Now, God bless y'all. Don't forget to hit that like button. Share my videos. Also, don't forget to donate if you like. Kevin's Corner. There are links in the bottom of this video. Check out Extreme Tees, my sponsor. If you like the products, put Kevin in the promo code. You'll get a 20% discount. And um, what else? Oh, find me on Rumble in the Jungle. All right, God bless you all next time. Kevin's Corner. Take care.